Hi, I'm David Bell. Today we look at groups in your KiwiConnection.nz ePortfolio. Remember back when you were at primary school, the best moments were when you got invited to join a group in the class. It fair swell with pride because your groups were usually just the bee's knees. And it's exactly like that in an ePortfolio. Groups are just the bee's knees and in more ways than one. Let's find out why. I'm at the personal dashboard of Demo Student 2. As you can see, there's an instruction video tutorial about open badges and awards. And below left, a badge to apply for. And over on the right, instructions about what he needs to do to complete the profile and claim the badge. Do that, and then a whole world of creating, refining and promoting your ePortfolio becomes possible. How? How will you ever get noticed in YouTube or Facebook and other social media? The answer's easy, and I think it's great fun, especially for Christian ministry in most contexts. Join groups. Join Kiwi Connection groups. Learn what they do. They can be very influential, and when you're familiar with how they work, tap into the wellspring of your creativity and start your own group. First step. Demo 2's already joined some groups. You can see them over on the right-hand side of the screen. But how does he find other groups? Again, easy. Just use the menu tabs on your dashboard. Almost everything you need to discover in Kiwi Connection is found from those tabs. As you can see, I've hovered over the tab for a while, and first up you can list your groups. And don't bother right now, because it's already visible over on the right-hand side, as we've just noted. Find groups, however, is a different story. Just before I click it, however, do note, you can list your friends too, and find new friends in exactly the same way. Now let's keep all that in mind as we click into Find Groups. Now it just so happens that Demo2 belongs to most of our Kiwi Connection groups. And I know that Demo2, because there's a sort of an alter ego of mine, has a long time interest in science. But why do some groups say join this group, while others say request to join the group? Well, some request groups are really around a special focus, and others are generic to the website. Preaching today is generic, as it says it's all about worship leading, preaching, sharing, tips and techniques, taking sermons into social media, etc. A demo too might be wanting to use his ePortfolio around particular interests only, and thus decides to request to join Genesis and Science and not join Preaching Today. So let's do it, and... Note, he does have to give a reason. The group admins will get a notification and almost certainly let him into the group. And that's where the bees knees factor comes into account. When he's in the group, well, the group members are known to each other, but the general public can't see who belongs. On the about page of the group is a whole lot of um, useful admin info, but it's not necessarily much fun, not riveting. But there's a forum, and some of the forum topics are what are called sticky. They deal with the big issues. And there are some resources in this Genesis and Science groups. And some associated micro MOOCs, they're our special form of courses. And members are working away quietly producing new articles and videos. This group's rather new. But those micro MOOCs and videos can get social media attention. Here are the stats. So if you choose to put into a forum post or add a resource or just a comment, your contribution gets shared beyond Kiwi Connection. Wait up. Some will say, I didn't want to be public like that. No problem. You can simply create a page and add your text and images and video, which display only to the group members. You control the privacy. So as this group's activities get media exposure, so too can your contribution if you want it to. You can raise your profile along with the group as it raises its profile. Now, I've deliberately chosen a specialist group. Over in the group preaching today, it's more generic, more visible on social media. But please, if you want to just 
browse the resources and pick and choose what to show in your ministry context, that's fine by us in Kiwi Connection. We're happy to have you with us and using and exploring all the potential of our ePortfolio connection. Actually, there's nothing quite like it in church context. Oh, and by the way, I just wanted to mention about the bee's knees. Back in 18th century English, that was a phrase that meant something that was very, very tiny. You think of the uh, leg of a bee and its knee, yeah, almost insignificant to the human eye. So uh, then in the 20th century, in American broadcasting, there started to be a group of phrases, and one of them was the cat's pyjamas. Um, and another became the bee's knees. And instead of meaning something really tiny, it began to mean something at the absolute pinnacle of excellence. Now, that's how Kiwi Connection Groups uh, work. They start from one or two people with a, a deep interest or passion to share something. And then as they get more members, they start to grow their resources. And as we've seen, they, those resources get uh, shared out into... Uh, Facebook, YouTube, uh, wherever, in the social media. So something of very uh, small scale uh, becomes magnified up. Just the bee's knees for Kiwi Connection members. So if you haven't tried it yet, subscribe to the channel. Click the small purple button at the bottom right of the screen and you'll get notification of new videos. Subscribers, please remember to give a thumbs up, comment and or share. That's helpful to us. And thanks for watching. See you next week.